Can you drive around without your steering stabilizer? Let's find out. So in between installing my new Fox uh, relocation bracket and shock uh, on the, the JL and JT suspension, I went ahead and pulled the stock unit. And so I don't have the brackets here or the bracket over here anymore. And I removed the stock Mopar um, steering stabilizer or um, it's also there to kind of soak up some bumps and to keep your wheel center without the effort. Uh, what I did notice is that there's some driving impressions that I'd like to share with you. And uh, you know, can you drive around without a, um, a steering stabilizer on? So let's, uh, let's try it out. All right, so some of the questions we have um, in this video that I am going to address is, uh, can you drive around without a steering stabilizer? Um, yes, the answer is yes. I think the, uh, the steering dampener uh, is there to soak up some of the bumps and some of the things that we see um, on a daily basis going down a road and you might hit a bump or hit something and if your suspension is loose if you have some old bushings if you have a triangulation in your suspension that's wrong um, it can be exaggerated and then you get something called death wobble so if you want to try to eliminate death wobble or give yourself uh, a troubleshooting tool pull your steering stabilizer go down the road drive around a little bit see how the truck feels and uh, find out if that's Part of the problem so we are driving now without a steering stabilizer and i have my suspension dialed in i have uh, 35 inch tires I'm running 32 psi and i straightened my steering wheel with my drag link adjustment um, using a 15 millimeter socket steering's nice and straight doesn't feel like it's wandering anywhere now i'm not going quite that fast yet but all right that felt good no weird jerks the wheel or nothing uh, nothing it didn't soak up so I'm gonna get the speed a little bit I gotta limit my speed here this road is kind of uh, also used by bikers and people walking and stuff so I'm slowing a little bit and get back up speed All right, we're going like 45 hands off the wheel it's pretty much where I put it got the suspension dialed in pretty good it stays put, uh, no steering stabilizer. So here I am driving around the road, down the road. Um, everything feels tight. And um, if this is something you wanna try just so that uh, before you get your next steering stabilizer, I'm doing this between my factory uh, on the stock mount and then I'm going to a above mount Fox shortly after this. So I just wanted to give you some impressions that you could use this as a troubleshooting tool for maybe some suspension problems. Um, you know, is your truck driving like it should with, uh, without the, the uh, dampener, your steering dampener installed? Because I believe, um, you know, some of those components being loose uh, can be hidden by your dampener. And if your suspension is dialed in, you don't need the dampener. It's just there. Um, and even the stock one is significant enough uh, way of life. We'll back that up. A stock uh, dampener is plenty for 35s. I, I would think even 37s. And um, so those are my driving impressions. And the maybe that'll help you kind of troubleshoot. Maybe that'll help you kind of um, decide what you want to do with your steering stabilizer. It's such a small mod. It's a couple of hundred dollars. Uh, is it really worth it? In my opinion, no. No. I think. Uh, I think. FCA uh, did a good job in designing it the way it was. Uh, I could very well stick the stock one back in and be just fine, but I wanted to bring my steering stabilizer back up above my uh, uh, the lowest point in the vehicle because where it's at stock, it's gonna it's just waiting to get smashed by a rock. And uh, with the Fox relocation bracket and the Fox dampener. I wanted it to match the rest of my suspension. I wanted it to uh, to upgrade it. I, I don't believe it was absolutely necessary. In hindsight, I probably wouldn't have done it again. Um, 
but uh, to give you some idea of what it's like, uh, if your suspension's dialed in right, everything's everything's good to go. Um, I don't think the dampener's gonna gonna change a whole lot. Um, a lot of people will use that as an excuse to maybe buy one because their steer their steering is kind of loose. Um, that's definitely a consideration because people are uh, complaining about it left and right. There's so many write-ups online about loose steering, and uh, frankly, I think it's there's some other issues in there. Loose, uh, loose steering box, and uh, there's some things that Chrysler Fiat Chrysler is going to have to address to get uh, those things fixed. So there you have it. You can drive around without your steering stabilizer. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, I don't think it's a necessary, if your suspension's right, you don't really absolutely have to do it. And uh, I hope this was helpful. Please leave some comments and some ideas what you think I could have done better and maybe covered some things for you. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I had to turn the wheel to the far right to get these two bolts out. This bracket sits in there like this. So because it's sandwiched, in order to get the bolt out, you have to get your uh, your drag link out of the way and because it's all connected at the knuckle awesome design the older Jeeps were connected in down here and then once you lifted the Jeep it messed all the triangulation up so you don't have to worry about that anymore you don't have to worry about uh, necessarily even doing a alignment after you do a lift on, on these Jeeps because they're separated at the knuckle um, much better design so all you have to do is, is dial in your steering once you lift your Jeep um, I've got the rock, uh, rock crawler, um, pan hard bar or track bar, some might call it, and it is a nice, nice piece. It's very, very heavy duty, um, and that's uh, that is 18 pounds compared to the stock one, which is eight pounds. So now that we got all this out of the way, and we've got some beefing up to do on the Mopar lift. It's a good start, but Mopar still requires you to do some extra stuff if you want it to ride better and to uh, track properly and to, uh, to um, be a complete lift. Uh, it is a good start, but it does need some extra parts. So now we're gonna move on to the install of the relocated uh, Fox steering stabilizer.